Hi, everyone, and welcome to yet another set of words. Uh, let's see what words we have for you today. So our first word here is nettles. To make someone annoyed or slightly angry is nettles. Also, nettles is a wild plant. As you can see right here, this is nettles. But we say nettles when we are trying to refer to making someone annoyed or slightly angry. She looked up at me sharply, clearly nettled by the interruption. So being nettled means you are annoyed or angry by something. In this case, she was nettled by interruption. She knew that the nettles grew in the churchyard. So nettles, here is the plant. I didn't see the nettles until I was stung by them. So we now know that nettles is a wild plant that can sting you. So yes, nettles is a wild plant as well as you can be nettled by someone because of maybe intrusion, interruption, or they did something wrong. So making someone annoyed or slightly angry is nettled and it's also a wild plant. Okay. All right. Nonchalant. So a nonchalant means behaving in a calm manner and showing that you're not worried, right? There are some people in life who are not really worried about anything. And then they show this behavior, which makes them seem like very calm. But in real, they do not care about things, okay? It'll be fine, she replied with a nonchalant shrug, right? So it'll be fine. That's how she did it, which means she's totally calm about it. And she's showing that she's not worried, and that's why she's suggesting the other person to do the same by saying, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. She uh, defeat all her rival for the job with a nonchalant ease. That means in a very calm manner, without being too worried about it. There was this nonchalant ease with which she defeated all her rivals and perhaps got the job. It merely underlines our rather more nonchalant attitude to life. So a nonchalant attitude is I don't care attitude or I'm not worried attitude. If you stay calm, you have a nonchalant attitude. All right. Nomative. Nomative means making people obey rules, especially rules of behavior. What is the purpose of a nomative or moral theory, right? What's the point of having a theory that makes people obey rules, right? It should not be an enforcement. Science cannot evaluate the normative basis for these policies. So science is not able to come up with any basis for these policies. So they can't evaluate the normative basis, basis which make the rules. They had dealt with the normative dilemma. They have dealt with the normative. That means a problem that is about making people obey rules. So normative making people obey rules, especially rules of behavior. Noxious. Noxious means harmful, dangerous, or destructive, especially to health. So if something is really dangerous or really harmful, enough to cause harm to your health, it's noxious. They died from inhaling noxious fumes. Noxious fumes, fumes that can be dangerous to your health. Heavy industry pollutes our rivers with noxious chemicals. Chemicals that are toxic, harmful, dangerous for our health. The neural body was pure, but susceptible to noxious infections. That means it was Prone, of, uh, prone to have 
noxious infections, harmful, dangerous infections, right? And so noxious means harmful, dangerous, or destructive, especially to health. You can see this guy, he's, he's trying to cover his mouth. Why? Because there are noxious fumes coming out of this garbage, right? Okay. Obdurate. Now, obdurate means stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or course of action. So if you're not changing your ways, you refuse to do so, you won't just listen. It's like this guy, you are obdurate. The president remains obdurate on immigration. That means he's refusing to change his opinions. Whatever rules he has established, he won't change them. He's obdurate about it. He's not listening anymore. Union leaders remain obdurate that working conditions should improve. Union leaders don't really want to change about the fact that work conditions need to improve. I do not know why he's taking such an obdurate attitude. Obdurate attitude, attitude that conveys someone stubbornly refusing to change their opinions or change their course of action, right? So that is obdurate, stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or course of action. Objugate. Now, objugate means to criticize sharply, rebuke vehemently, and berate. So if you are negatively criticizing someone, you can say that person is objugating, right? So to criticize sharply or to rebuke vehemently or to berate someone. He objugated his clumsiness and went on picking his way more cautiously. So he criticized his clumsiness and then he went on trying to make sure that he picks his way more cautiously. The old man objugated his son. Old man criticized his son. Drop it, you fool, and lend a hand, objugated the inspector. So the inspector is rebuking the person and he's telling him drop it you fool lend a hand right he's criticizing him in sorts so objugate to criticize the rebuke or berate, right that is objugate obscure obscure means not known to many people or not important or well known if something is not known by many people, it's an obscure thing. Or something is not important, it's obscure. Official policy has changed for reasons that remain obscure, for reasons that remain unknown. They're not known by many people. So obscure reasons for changing policies. His answers were obscure and confusing. That means his answers were not known by many people. Those were some new answers and they didn't make sense. Managers deliberately obscured the real situation from investigators. So managers deliberately made it unimportant uh, to hear the real situation from the investigators. So obscure, not known to many people, not important or well-known, right? If something is not important, not well-known, we say it's Obscured. Obscuous. Now, obscuous means too eager to praise or obey someone. If you're really eager to praise or obey someone, you're obscuous, right? She's embarrassingly obscuous to anyone in authority. The moment she sees that this person is the head of a place or is the most important official or is the authority of a place, she becomes embarrassingly obscuous. She becomes that person who keeps praising the other one, is eager to obey whatever orders they give. They're like, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it, right? So that is an obscuous person. The sales bat's obscuous banner was beginning to irritate me. That means the way the salesman was 
you know, praising me in everything, was just obeying whatever I was saying. His obscuous manner was beginning to irritate. The waiter was polite and efficient, but not obscuous. The waiter was not too eager to praise me or to obey me. So he was polite, he was efficient, but he didn't really obey my orders, right? So that is obscuous. Okay. Obstinate. Obstinate means holding stubbornly to one's own ideas or unwilling to change. If you're just stubborn about something and you won't change about it, you're obstinate. He was the most obstinate man I've ever met. He's the most stubborn person who won't change his ideas and is unwilling to change as whole. It is difficult to reason with an obstinate old man. If there is a man who is stubborn, obstinate, you really can't, you know, reason with them. You know I'm right. You're just being obstinate. You know I'm right. You're just being that person who is stubborn, right? So obstinate, you can remember as being stubborn. Obviate. Now, obviate means to remove a difficulty, avoid something or prevent something. So if you are removing difficulties from your life, you're obviating, you're avoiding something, that's also obviate. A peaceful solution would obviate the need to send a military force. If there was a peaceful solution, then military forces wouldn't have to go to places, right? And it's... Uh, you know, this solution would obviate the need, would remove the need of sending military force. We must obviate the problem ahead of tomorrow. So we should avoid or prevent the problems which might and which we might encounter the next day. Early administration of antibiotics may obviate the need of surgery. If you start taking antibiotics from the beginning, it might just Avoid and uh, prevent a surgery for you, right? But definitely it's not a necessity to check with your doctor. So obviate. All right, time to revise. Obviate to remove a difficulty, avoid something or prevent something. For example, wearing masks helped us obviate COVID at times. But still, we all got it. Obstinate, someone who is holding stubbornly to their ideas. Usually kids, teenagers, right? They're very stubborn about their ideas. They don't want to change. And when their parents try to tell them something, they don't want to listen. So obstinate, holding stubbornly to one's ideas and then not changing. Obscuous, too eager to praise or obey someone. If you are trying to praise some high authority or a, a salesman trying to praise the customers, that would seem so, you know, artificial. But you're so eager to praise or obey me. So that kind of a person would be called as obscuous. Okay? Obscure. Obscure means not known to many people. Or even if it's known, it's not very important or well-known. So official policy has changed for reasons remain obscure. That means the reasons have not been revealed. Not many people know about them. Okay, so obscure. Objugate. It means to criticize someone sharply. If you did not like something your friend did, you can objugate them. You can criticize them, right? Obdurate. Obdurate means stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or course of action. You just stop listening. You're like, I don't want to change. I don't want to listen. So the president remains obdurate on immigration. Right? That means the president is not going to say anything and he is going to stay stubborn, refusing to change his opinions on immigration. Right? Noxious, something that's harmful, dangerous, or destructive, especially to health. And also say toxic, right? For example, fumes. Fumes can be noxious because they'll cause you 
you know, problems in terms of your health. That's noxious. Normative means making people obey rules, especially rules of behavior. Nonchalant means behaving in a calm manner and showing that you're not worried. For example, it'll be fine. She replied with a nonchalant shrug. That means she's not really worried. She's calm. Nettles uh, to make someone annoyed or slightly angry. It's also a wild plant. So if you're making someone or you made someone nettled, that means you made them annoyed or angry. So nettled and nettles is the wild plant, right? Okay, thank you so much.